Hey guys and welcome to AK Pro Films, your source for tech tutorials and more. And on this video I'm going to continue my Xcode tutorials and make another one for you. So for this Xcode tutorial I'm going to talk about the UI Paceboard. And that's a great handy tool that you can use in your apps. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about the UI Paceboard in another Xcode tutorial. Alright, so before we get into the coding, let me show you what the app actually does. So right here is a little demo of the app. So on the home page, you'll have a text field, two buttons, and then a label. So when the user types in something in the text field, and then when they press one of the buttons, which is copy, that text will be copied. They can paste that text into any app, or when they press the paste button, the text will be pasted into a text label. So it's a great little handy application, so why don't I actually code it so you can learn how to implement the UI Paceboard into your own applications. Alright, so let's jump right into the coding of this application. So first what you want to do is open up Xcode and create a single view application. You can name it whatever you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to name it uh, Paster. And I'm just going to leave the organization name to whatever I want. And I'm going to choose for the device, just for the iPhone. So now I'll just press next, and let's choose where we want to save it, and then just press create. Alright, so Xcode should create the project right away. And before we do anything, let's just make it for portrait. So yeah, we can just leave it at portrait there. And let's go into our main storyboard.storyboard file, and start laying out our interface. So, what we want to do is drag in two buttons. And let's drag in a text field. And let's also put in a text view where we'll display all the text. And just to make the app look nice, let's put in. Well, we should put in a tap gesture recognizer just so the user can dismiss the keyboard easily. And then we should put in a navigation bar just to top off the application along with the toolbar at the bottom. So that looks pretty cool, just like that. And if you want to view it, it'll run up in the iOS simulator. So let's just preview our uh, user interface. So it looks pretty sweet here, and we have everything working. So now let's just lay out our interface just to make it look nice. So let's uh, expand this text field just so the user has more area to write their text in. And here are our buttons. And let's just lay these out nicely. Uh, let's expand that just a little bit more. Perfect. And now we can name our buttons too. So I'm just going to put the button, one at copy and the other at paste. Alright, that looks good. And now we can put our text view here so the user can see the text that they entered. So let's just delete all this random text and leave it just like that. So that's our basic interface and now let's just name the navigation bar paster or whatever you named your app. So that looks great and let's maximize our window so we have the most amount of room. Let's open up the assistant editor. Alright, so what we want to do right off the bat is we want to put a bracket there so we have room to write our pasteboard. So to implement the pasteboard, all you want to do is UI pasteboard and put an asterisk and name it whatever you want. And then end that with the semicolon. And there we go, it looks good. And that's how you implement the UI pasteboard in the .h file. And now let's uh, link up all of our outlets. So let's go over here and press control, click and drag and link up the text field name it whatever you want just so you remember it later and let's also put the text view and then press connect alright there we go now let's jump right into our .h file and let's put in both of our buttons so control click and drag write one for copy and oops now let's link up the other button 
paste and then let's drag in our gesture recognizer just by pressing control click and drag let's name that uh, dismiss keyboard all right perfect let's just put in some room for our copy button and for our paste oops and for our paste button and for our dismiss keyboard gesture recognizer so let's start by coding the gesture recognizer for the keyboard. So when the person does that gesture on their uh, phone, let's dismiss the keyboard. So let's go my text view, or let's go my text view, resign, first responder, and that with a semicolon. So whatever your text field is called up here, it'll resign the keyboard or dismiss the keyboard. All right, so what we want to do is when we have that resign first responder, we just write that in there and then it should work. So if it's not working, all we want to do is drag the tap gesture recognizer onto our view. So then whenever the user presses on this white area, which is the view, the keyboard will dismiss. So let's run that. And so when they are typing in information and when they press on the white area, the keyboard will dismiss like so. So that's a very great way of doing that. And then let's also put in another resign first responder for the paste. So when the user press paste, the keyboard will dismiss and display the text in the text view. All right, so now let's begin coding our UI pasteboard. All right, so let's go into our view did load method here and let's put pasteboard equals bracket UI pasteboard general pasteboard and end that with a semicolon. And so let's go into our copy here and let's go pasteboard.text will be equal to the my text field dot text. And we actually want to replace the pasteboard.text to pasteboard.string. So there we go, we have our we have that right in there ready to go. And so let's go into our paste button and let's go my text view dot text will be equal to pasteboard dot string and that with a semicolon so what this is saying is it'll be putting the text from the text field into the pasteboard and it'll be setting that text equal to pasteboard dot string and then the text view dot text will be equal to the pasteboard dot string which is from the my text field so let's see how that works. So let's run that. Let's write in some words and let's press copy, paste, and it puts hello in the text view. Let's space this up just a little bit more and put in a alert view. So let's go into copy and write UI alert view asterisk alert one be equal to bracket bracket UI alert view alloc and let's go in it with title put in a string with the at sign in quotes and let's write notice and then the message will be your text is copied perfect and let's put for the delegate, let's write nil because we don't want anything. And for our cancel button title, we do ats and then quotes and write in something. And let's write just cancel. Or let's write dismiss. And the other button title, we don't want any. So let's put ats. Or let's just put nil because we don't want one. And there we go. Before we finish it off, put a semicolon, bracket, alert, one, show and put a semicolon and now let's run it and see how that works so let's write hello world let's write copy notice your text is copied dismiss paste hello world perfect so there we go now let's just put in another one for our paste and let's name it something different so it doesn't get confused your text is pasted for the message delegate nil cancel button dismiss everything the same and let's put alert to show 
So let's see how that works by running the application. Let's do hello world. Copy. Your text is copied, paste. Notice your text is pasted. And there we go. So since we have that text field or the text view, we can scroll up and down if we have multiple lines of text. So let's just demonstrate that. Now let's just copy this by selecting copy paste select all copy and then paste oops and let's just uh, copy that and paste it and you can see that we can scroll up and down in this text view so if you have multiple lines of text you can just scroll up and down which is a great way to use text. So that pretty much concludes our tutorial on the UI pasteboard and I hope this helped you with your applications. So if you have any questions at all let me know in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe and also go on my Twitter page at AKProFilms so that will be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you in my next tutorial. If you have any video suggestions let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see you in my next tutorial and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.